Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're taking a look at the transfer speed on the one terabyte SSD um, expansion card for the Xbox Series X and the two terabyte that I just bought today because I noticed something extremely interesting. So I just wanted to give you a perspective on what's going on. So I'm gonna go down here to manage games storage devices as you can see the storage expansion card uh let me minimize this just a little bit so you can see this as you can see i am going from the internal storage to the storage expansion card this is the one terabyte card so um just so you know i'm going to go ahead and bring this back out here so you guys can see me a little bit and then we are going to go to the internal storage and we are going to view the content, or not view them. We're going to go to the internal storage and we are going to move and copy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of the games that that I want to, to move over um, to this card from my internal storage. The games that I, I, I want on the other, actually I don't think this is one of them that needs to go over to that. So I'll take that one off. So uh, Monster Energy. These are some more games that I want to uh, go ahead and start testing for you guys. Um, Ori Will the Wisp. I already have that over there. So actually I think Chorus is already on there too. But this will work. Whatever. So copy selected. I'm going to go ahead and copy these from the internal to the storage card. And as you can see, we're getting 1.41 gigabytes per second on this game. Uh, you can see this down here under me. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. So you can see that under there. 1.45, 0 0.46. Now this is the Seagate card that I bought for the Xbox Series X. Um, we're just going to look at the, the speeds. 1.40 now i already put a bigger video out earlier today when i noticed just how freaking ridiculous the speeds were of the transfer i mean we're getting a 100 gigabyte game in less than a minute like a little over a minute i'm like wow that's insane <clears throat> so now we're looking at this 1.45 man wow And then when I pull it out, I'll show you, you know, that it is the one terabyte card. <clears throat> and as you can see, I only had two drives in there. <clears throat> now we're down to 1,000 megabytes a second. 900. This is insane, man. 1.8 gigs, 1.14, 119. Wow. So yeah, this is uh, this is pretty interesting, man. Now look, now it's dropping all the way down to like two, two twenty, two oh nine, and this is transferring that to my other um, NVMe. I've never seen the speeds get this low. That's that's interesting. I've been transferring stuff now for for, about, for for a little while, so that might have something to do with this too, but. So 
So we'll use the same games that I'm transferring right now too, because I don't have those ones on the two terabyte. So we'll definitely start with the Art of Rally, you know, Super Motocross 4, Mo MotoGP 21, and I'll move all of those card, all of those games over to the two terabyte as soon as this one is done. This is normally the card I, I, I put in my uh, Series S now too, so the one terabyte. So you saw that, and that took that took a minute. We're already at five minutes. We're already at five minutes on this, on this this video. This is a twenty gig game. We're up to one point eighteen gigs a second. I mean, I think I think that might have been normal from from before. Like I th I think this might be like giving me the normal speeds that I've normally gotten. I mean, I think that might be right because, I mean, that was fast. I always thought, oh, yeah, that's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. So, so I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll watch that, you know, like 116. And, like, it's fluctuating pretty pretty decently. I mean, this card's not too old. I mean, I got it in, like, I haven't been, like, just downloading and re redoing a lot of stuff on there. So, I mean, it's not like it's not like the card's been, like, overworked or anything like that for sure. Um and I mean, it's basically been sitting cold all day, anyways, in in the Xbox uh, in the Xbox Series S. So, so I mean, I feel like this is uh, this 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 speed is pretty uh, pretty uh, pretty accurate for the most part. But I mean, this this speed that we're getting right now doesn't even freaking compare. Doesn't even compare to the speed I'm getting off that two terabyte. Like this is this is ridiculous, and you're gonna see why in a minute. I'm gonna try to keep this this video, you know, kind of short, because I mean we're we're gonna transfer the exact same games to the two terabyte, because they're all from the internal storage from my uh, from my Series X, and I just wanted to have something for the show that that was not a whole bunch of heavy heavy games that not a whole bunch of heavy games that we're gonna take a long time, but you know. Because that last video I did was like 30-something minutes, almost 40 minutes to transfer like a lot of games, though. So we're definitely doing this as a follow-up follow up video. Yeah, see, I mean, we're, we're at about 1.41 sustained, you know, like one and a half gigs. One and a half gigs a second sustained, you know, transfer speed for, for the majority of these games on this card. Um... We'll just call it 1.5. 1.5. That sounds pretty fair. I don't know what happened with the one game dropping all the way down to the like 200, 200 megabytes and stuff, but I think 1. 1. 1.5 is pretty sustained. Is is the sustained speed for this for the most part. So, yeah, and I needed to transfer all these games to the to the one terabyte anyway, so that I could put them on the Series S, so I could so I could do some videos on these games for for everybody out there in the community, anyways on how these games are holding up on series s so so this is pretty cool this is pretty educational definitely a good um definitely a good video to show you that that 400 dollars that you're paying for that card there's something going on there man there's something going on there to be able to get freaking write speeds at at over six gigs man that's insane and I mean, you're going to be able to see it with your own eyes because this is literally all going to be in real time. I'm not cutting any of the video out. Uh, you'll see me move over here and physically move these because they're hot swappable. I don't need to turn the console off or nothing. This will be one whole continuous video. Yeah, this one here is dropping down into the uh, to the thing too. Going, this game here is dropping down in that uh, in that 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 right speed a little bit too. You see what I mean? So I mean we're all we're at nine minutes, nine minutes to transfer all those games, and I think it was less than a hundred gigabytes, dude, for nine minutes, nine minutes. So let me get this. All right, boom. Those are all done. Those are all all moved. Go ahead and pull that one terabyte out. Set that puppy right there. Uh, this is the one terabyte card. I don't know if you can if you're gonna be able to see that one terabyte. So that right there, this is the two terabyte. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is the two terabyte card. And you'll see as soon as I put it in there. I'll move my little 
my little video back. Okay. So let me move this out of the way. Grab my troller. Go down here. Okay, boom. That card is on there now. Storage devices. See, as you can see, 1.8 terabytes right here. And now I'm going to move this, or I'm going to move this back down. Okay, so. Well, I don't think it was that big. It was like right there. Okay, so we are going to go into internal storage again. We're going to move our copy, and then we're going to select our games. I think I already got course on on the other one. Did I did I do course though? I think it was this one, this one, this one. But I already got Ori on there. This one, this one, and this one. So I think I think I I'll just I'll just do all of those. Copy, selected. So it is going to be. Uh, one of the things you selected already there. Okay, so one of the things. I think it's, it's Ori in the Will of the West. So let me just go ahead and remove that one. I already got I already got that on there. So that's not going to really... <clears throat> oh my gosh, one of the things. Yep, I think it's Chorus too. Okay, so... Well, I don't have the gunk on there, so we'll do that one. And then we will do... We'll do this one, too, because I don't think I have that on there. So, all right, copy selected. Okay, so now I'm not getting any warning, so boom. Let's copy these. Now let's see. We'll set the controller down. Now, as you can see, the right, the gig, the speed is 620. 6.48 gigabytes a second. Do you remember how long that took? Almost nine minutes to download all that stuff. So we'll see exactly what's going on here in just a second. Monster Energy, that's the one that gave us the one that was dropping down. And this one here is transferring it. Almost the same six gigs a second. I remember you, you remember us sitting there for <laughs> for almost two minutes for some of these games, man. Like look at that. Four, five gigs a second. Five ninety nine, six oh six. Six thirty. Six thirty seven. Yeah. Huh. That's insane. That is literally insane. I'm actually transferring more bigger games than I did on the last one way faster. Look at that, man. Not even not even freaking like look at that, man. Just just blowing right through these, man. Blowing right through them. Moving them 8 seconds, 7 seconds. What is that? Like 25 seconds to download that game or to transfer that game? Ah, boom, look at that. Boom, already done, already done, already done, already done, already done. <laughs> 11 gigs, man. Gosh, this this would be, look at that. Look at that bar just blow across that freaking thing, man. Look at that. Look at that, man. That's that's insane. That is literally insane. So, there you go, man. That new $200 card, or $400 card, the speed you are getting with that is freaking unreal like this that rivals the playstation 5 internal ssd like no other like you cannot believe that so man i just did that i want to keep this video short and get that out of here if you like this content if you thought this was interesting don't forget to hit that like and subscribe these are the two cards you got the one terabyte you got the two terabyte man what an investment i'm super satisfied with that that's pretty freaking cool, man. I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, what a freaking blast. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.